I am going to show you how to make your own dry shampoo. So this is different than the spray in no water shampoo. This is actually dry, um, which is really nice for camping or when somebody's bedridden or just when you need a quick touch up for some oily spots and you don't want to like ruin your whole do. So I have dark hair. So we're going to be making a dark colored dry shampoo. That way any residual that's left behind blends in. So you're going to need arrowroot. You're going to need unsweetened, no additive cocoa powder. And you're of course going to need your oils. So we're going to do equal parts of arrowroot and cocoa and I'm going to put them in my food processor here just to make sure that they get really mixed together well with the oils. So I'm making a little bit of a mess here. It's okay. And depending on how much you need, you can uh, bake big batches, small batches. For about a quarter cup of dry product, you add about five drops of oil. And they can be, of course, any oils that you happen to like, or if you're going for something specific, like if you've got scalp issues, I really recommend Malaluca oil um, and lavender that gets rid of any itching and scalp problems. So I'm going to put in a little blend here. of lavender. Peppermint. Melaleuca, also known as tea tree. And just because it's my signature fragrance, a little bit of patchouli. All right, I'm gonna mix this up in the food processor, but I won't do that on the video because it's gonna be really, really loud. And then you just take an old but clean makeup brush, store it in an airtight container, preferably with a screw lid or one that clicks really well. And you're just going to use the brush and apply it to the oily parts of your hair. And obviously this is really white, so it's too bold. But the brown powder will blend in with my hair. If you're concerned about the powder showing up, just apply it in the evening before you go to bed and it will soak up the natural oils and you'll be left with clean, ungreasy hair. Yeah. All right.